Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace and in this episode, I'm gonna count back my favorite 10 episodes of Adorama TV that I've created. It was about 10 years ago when Abraham Steinberg called me and said, hey Mark, we'd like you to create something called Adorama TV. And since that time, I've created 400 and something videos, maybe 500 videos right here on Adorama TV. But there are 10 that really stand out to me because they were really fun to make. I think the teaching was great or there's something about them that made them special. And so without further ado, I'm gonna count down my favorite 10 starting right now. Number 10, the exposure triangle. This video has over 1.3 million views, but that's not the reason it's on the list. It's on the list because it breaks down the relationship between aperture, shutter, and ISO in easy to understand terms. If you want to transition from beginner to advanced photographer, this video will get you there. Number nine, fruit on a table. I love breaking things down step by step, and that's what this video is all about. I take a very boring scene and then change things in a way that will help you really learn about the nuances of lighting. At first, I thought this video was way oversimplified, but people kept talking about this video and how much it's helped them. So that's why I think it deserves to be on the list. Number eight, Keto Night Photography. This was a really fun video to make, and it goes on the list because it does a great job of showing all the work that goes into getting just one good shot. All of the things that have nothing to do with gear or camera settings, things like the planning and the scouting and the setup and waiting for the light. My day began by exploring the city. I walked the streets, listened to the sounds, and looked for inspiration. I began thinking I would shoot images of people, and so I spent time in Plaza Grande, just watching the locals and getting a sense of the space. As I watched the crowds, I decided it would be better to shoot the scene from above, so I began to look for a higher vantage point. As I climbed, I began to see the city from a distance and decided a scenic photo would be even better, so I began to look for even higher ground. And the bonus is at the end of the night, I got a great photo. Number seven, open shade portraits. Sometimes I get negative feedback about my expensive lighting gear, but this video goes on the list because it shows that you can get great results with nothing but natural light. Sophia the model was terrific, I liked the post-production, and the photos are some of my favorite. This video teaches a technique that any photographer can learn. And wow, now that we know how that works, I'm gonna shoot a few pictures and show you my results. Number six, cinematic portraits. When I asked my friend Nikki Nikki if she wanted to make some emotional looking images, she asked me if she could fake cry in the photos. And that's when I knew this video was going to be a winner. We were able to take a few very simple principles and put them together in a way that created a photo that was bigger than the sum of its parts. We had a great time in the studio creating this look and it goes on the list because it was fun, it does a good job of teaching how to put things together and the photos look great. Number five, fake golden hour. This video goes on the list because it shows how easy it is to use a flash and a gel to create a totally new look. When we shot this video, it was super hot outside and we were being blinded by the sun that was bouncing off the deck. You can see Amy, the model, hopping around because it's so hot and she keeps closing her eyes to keep from crying. I'm not so sure why she didn't just wear shoes. But despite the hard light and the hot deck, we got a great image. And it's a lighting setup that can save your bacon if you just have to shoot in the middle of the day. Number four, silver screen magic. This video goes on the list because it's a really simple lighting setup and a really simple prop and the results are always great. Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best. This is a video I send to photographers for inspiration all the time. If you've got a great model and almost any type of flash and a window screen, you can make these images yourself. Number three, Africa Big Five. These videos go on the list simply because I hope they inspire you to go outside and admire the many magnificent animals that live around us. 
This two-part episode was really wonderful to shoot, and it does a good job of explaining all the gear and techniques you should use to photograph wildlife. But mostly, look at those animals. Check this out. Right over there, there's a rescued rhino with his horn that was taken off by poachers and they've saved him and uh, are doing some um, preservation and rescue work here. It's very amazing. So we're just on day one scouting and seeing what's available and already I'm a little bit overwhelmed. So let's go and let's, let's see how close we can go to these amazing animals. Okay. Try to get a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. Can we get closer? At the end of the first episode, I got very close to one of the lions. Now I know there's a fence between me and the lioness, but don't kid yourself, it would not have stopped the lion at all. After the fact, I realized that what I'd done was not very wise. So don't do what I did, you might not survive. But I have to say, getting so extremely close to the wild lions was a once in a lifetime experience. Look at these photos, they were shot with a 50 millimeter lens, it's insane. I hope you watch these episodes and decide to try some wildlife photography yourself. You won't regret it. Well, that's my top eight. Before I tell you my final two, I'm curious what you think. So leave me a comment in the comment section below. Which videos did I get right? Which videos did I get wrong? Which videos should I remake? Which videos have I not made that I should make before I die? I don't know, you let me know in the comments below. All right, well the last two really I think are tied in my mind, but I had to choose one favorite, so let's move on and then I'll show you my number one favorite video of all time. Number two, Patagonia photo shoot disaster. There's a storm that's gonna hit, so I'm out of here. I don't need to get caught up here. Whoa, whoa! The wind is blowing so hard, I can't stay on my feet. It's actually blown me down twice. It's gotta be 100 miles an hour. As hard as getting up was, I think getting down might be even worse. In this video, everything goes wrong. I have bronchitis, I get blown off the mountain, I injure my knee, the clouds cover the mountain, and I don't get the shot that I planned. This video gets second place because it's real. In real life, things do go wrong. Plans do change. We don't always succeed. For photography, it's, it's a lot the same way. If you wanna become a professional or shoot weddings or whatever it is you wanna do, Got to set a goal, then just stick to it. When things get hard, maybe you're out of money, get low on spirits, whatever it is, you got to keep going, keep practicing, you know, learn new things. Just don't stop. Maybe you're going slow. It's all right. As long as you're going, you'll finally get there. Just don't give up. Number one, Prime Lens Photo Challenge. There are so many things I like about this video. It's a photo challenge with Gavin Hoey, one of my favorite people, and it's in Paris, one of my favorite cities. It's all about trying new things. It's just a fun video. It's an interesting setup. There's one rule, use the same prime lens for a day, and that's it. But having that parameter was liberating. I didn't have to bring a camera bag, or lenses, or lights, or meters. It was like being a kid again. Just take the camera and have fun. 
The things I learned while making this video have spilled over as lessons onto many other videos. Things like street photography, shooting reflections, hyperfocal focusing, composition, low light photography, and I'm sure a lot of other things. Does this video deserve to be the number one Mark Wallace video on Adorama TV? I think so. What about you? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for indulging me in my top 10 list. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV and turn on the bell so you get notifications of new videos because they're coming out all the time. Also, check me out on Instagram because I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You don't want to miss out on that. And you get a little sneak peek every once in a while of videos that I'm making right here for Adorama. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time.